let's get down to the nitty gritty. Okay, anyways. Um, so what I was saying was, I hate feeling this way. And I hate, I hate it. Um, but yeah, I'm at the point now that I don't want to ever make anybody else feel that way. Um, and I know it's me, not them. I mean, I know that. So I found myself immediately, whatever it is, and I'm, I'm not a negative person, but when it comes to other people being pregnant, I find negative. Um, my best friend, I'm not my best friend, my, my old roommate in college, she's married now. Um, and I found myself thinking of stuff like, well, they've only been married a few months, and they've got two other kids. And they didn't date that long before they got married. And what are they thinking? And I even said, so was this a surprise? And she said no. And I was like, why would you do that? Why You hadn't? You did not date this guy very long before you got married. And you, these are the bitter thoughts I'm having. The evil bitter thoughts that I'm having. That I'm doing that. So anyways, if you, just pray for me guys. I am, I am in a, different place but I still struggle and I know that the devil knows how to get to me see I said I wasn't gonna cry I didn't in the last video well maybe I did a little um anyways so I don't know it's just a battle every time but long story short so Monday night my mom called me to tell me that my cousin Shauna had lost the baby and it made me feel even worse I cried and I cried and I cried for her and I cried and I cried because I'm a horrible person and I, I hate feeling that way and I hate, I hate it. So I emailed her because I was too chicken to call her and I told her that I was sorry I didn't reach out to her before and I told her, you know, and she knew, uh, and I apologize if I told her I can't imagine there being anything worse than losing a child. And, uh, you know, I told her about what an awesome mom I know she's going to be one day. And anyways. But she, you know, she emailed me back and, um, you know, she knew. And one of the things she said was that she'd been in those shoes too. And that uh, she never wanted her anger or jealousy to get in the way of anybody else's happiness. And I appreciated that. And I want to be that way too. I don't ever, I just hate not appreciating somebody else's journey of pregnancy, if that's what you want to call it. Um, anyways. And then, the other thing I talked about in my last video was, so I found out Wednesday that the nurse practitioner that I see, the, the one who got the ball rolling for me with weight loss surgery, the one who was there with us with this whole infertility process. You know, I saw her just a few months ago, and the first thing she said to me was, all right, you come back and see me when you're ready to have a baby so we can get this stuff, this ball, this stuff going. Um, sorry, I just got a crazy email. Uh, she's leaving the practice. I cried. My best friend went to see her Wednesday. And when she called me, that's the first thing she told me. And I just cried. I called my husband. I cried. I know that's silly. And I would just follow her. But guess what she's doing? She's going to teach. And I know that sounds really dumb. But she's been with us through the whole process. And she's supposed to be with us now. Um, I know technically when we get started again, I'll be considered more normal. I don't know how you want to call it normal. But she was the one that was going to help us. And I feel really defeated about it. Um, I'm so upset. I'm so upset about it. She, um, she, I'm so upset. I really loved going to her. Um, not that somebody else won't be helpful. And not that that information is not already going to be in my chart. But I'm so upset. So, that's where we are. And, um, 
technically we could start trying in October. We won't. We'll wait till December uh, because I'm running that half marathon in December and I do not want to get be pregnant before that. Um, that would make for a very miserable half marathon. And um, so, yeah, I was just going to start seeing her. I'd kind of talk into some people um, and kind of talking to my husband. I just kind of decided that we were going to bite the bullet and just go ahead and start the Clomid in December um, because I'm 33. That time I'll be 34. Oh my gosh. I'm getting upset thinking about it. <laughs> and um, I don't want to waste any more time. You know, I work with oh, so many things I could say right now. I'm just going to quit because I'm going to get upset. So anyways, I'm upset with that. And I know that there's so, we're so blessed. And I know that. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, yeah. Anyways. Well, that's my piddly complaints for this week. Sorry. I'm really sorry, guys. If you're new, I'm not always like this. But here we are. The joys of Sarah Robinson's journey. Awesome. Um... Happy notes. I think of happy stuff. So, um, hey, in my defense, it's my lady time, okay? <laughs> um, non scale victories I did not share last week. Um, going to the lake with my brother and his wife. Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, it's awesome and very different. Um, it's not easy for anybody to get in and out of the boat. They have a short ladder. Um, but I am able to do it with so much more ease. And it's so much nicer to be able to do that. Um, and the big thing of, and I'm not a small medium, but I was wearing a small medium life jacket. That is a huge deal. You already know that if you're friends with me on Facebook or Instagram because I posted a picture of myself in it. But that's a huge deal. And I'm so tickled about that. Um, yeah. So that's exciting. And yeah. I'm really sorry. I'm probably going to have to end this here. Um, I'm sidetracked and emotional now. But I wanted to share those things. The other video, even though it was super long, was not as bad. Uh, so I'm sorry that you're getting all this emotion thrown your way. But I just want to share things. Um, thanks for subscribing to my channel. I appreciate everyone. Um, I have not had a chance to sit down and subscribe to others that have subscribed to me recently. I'm going to do that. Um, I really try to do that. So, yeah, new things coming for the fall. Co-host the Renew, half marathon, searching for a new doctor, good times. So, yeah. I hope everybody has a really great week, and if I don't see you again, I will see you for Tip and Trick Tuesday. Bye, guys.